Today is April 29th, marking the two-week anniversary of the Boston Marathon tragedy. Today, people take a look back at a moment in history that for students at Emerson College, it's close to home. Um, so it was me and my other two roommates, and I strapped a GoPro to Dave's head, and we were going to run with him and, and uh, film the last couple miles with Brendan doing his thing. Off the, marathon route. Okay, we're the, areas, all right? the cops didn't want people to panic or something, but the runners kept running and everyone kept cheering. It was it was about 15 or 20 minutes before the cops started saying, "All right, everyone, move back, um, get away from the trash cans." Like there were two explosions, and it, re it really cleared out really fast. It was incredible how how many people there were one minute and how little there were the next minute. It was strange because we knew what was going on, but there were still a lot of people running, and so it was kind of eerie. I know um, in talking, Christian and I have kind of said it's like we knew the world was ending, but no one else knew. Um, so it was a scary experience. I mean, I just started thinking about my friends who were at the finish line. At about 9.54, um, I was still receiving calls from friends and family, and it was about four minutes after the bombings had occurred. Within the next 10 minutes, um, I wasn't getting any calls through. You can only assume it's because they feared that someone was trying to set up another bomb um, via cell phone. Um, I know the same thing happened during 9-11. I really honestly don't know why. It could honestly just because, because the amount of traffic, it automatically shut down. You know, this, during that time, there are 500,000 people watching the Boston Marathon. So there are a lot of people in the city, outside the city, with all their eyes on the city. The events that occurred during the 2013 Boston Marathon tragedy claimed the lives of three individuals and injured over 260, leaving them in the hospital. Despite the events that occurred, one Emerson student says that this tragedy will only strengthen the future Boston Marathons. I think that next year the marathon is probably going to be the most popular marathon that the city has ever seen. There are probably going to be thousands of more people who are running, thousands of more people there. Um, I don't think this is going to, this is not the end of the Boston Marathon. This is going to be a new wave. It's going to be huge. So that's what I think is going to happen. For JR 103, I'm David Weiner.